Hello, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate. And here we are in PowerDirector Ultimate looking at some of the tools that the program comes loaded with for creating DVDs and Blu-ray discs. And the program does have an abundance of pretty high-level tools for doing this. In this tutorial, we want to talk about adding chapter markers or scene markers to your movie. Pretty simple process, but it's kind of nice how when you add them to the timeline, they interact with the menus that we'll add in another phase of creating our discs. Now we're going to create our markers right here on the timeline. So if above the movie, you're not seeing any other timeline tracks, you can right click on the track headers here on the left and select show chapter track. This is the track above the movie where we're going to be adding our chapter markers. By default, it adds chapter one right at the beginning of the movie. Now simultaneously, to adding this first marker, it opens up the chapter room up here in the upper left of the program. If you're not seeing that, just go down through this list here on the left and under the more button is the chapter room or press F11 on your keyboard. And here we can see the chapters as they're added to our movie. There are a number of automatic ways to add chapters to your movie. You can add a chapter at the beginning of each clip on your video track, which in our case would mean an awful lot of chapters. Or you can tell the program to automatically add chapters every interval, or you tell it how many chapters to add. It'll do the math and give you evenly spaced chapters throughout your movie. I much prefer to add my chapter markers manually because then they have sort of a meaning to them. We've got our first chapter marker. Let's place our second chapter marker right about here. So to add a chapter marker, I just go over to the lower left of the chapter room and click on add chapter marker. There we go and it's added here to the chapter room and it's added to our timeline. We'll add one more chapter marker, say right here, and same thing, we'll just press add chapter. Now, once we've added our chapter markers, we need to use their default names. We can give them whatever names we want. To name a chapter, you simply double click on it here in the chapter room and then type in the name. We'll call this the drive. We'll call chapter two, the arrival. We'll call chapter three, family reunion. There we go, and they're updated here on the timeline. Now we may or may not like the little thumbnail that appears at each chapter listing. Well, these thumbnails are of course based on where the playhead is positioned, but we aren't limited to that default. So if for instance, I think this thumbnail looks a little bit clumsy with this woman kind of looking at a plate, I can move the playhead to a more attractive thumbnail or a more aesthetically pleasing thumbnail. This one, for instance. And then with the playhead in that position and this chapter selected here in the chapter room, if I go down here to the lower left, there's a little butt that looks kind of like a landscape. If I click on that, it updates my thumbnail here so that now it's using the thumbnail for where the playhead is positioned now. Notice it didn't change the position or the location of the chapter itself, only the little thumbnail picture that will appear here on our movie menu. The second chapter has a pretty nice little thumbnail. The first chapter, the guy driving, kind of weird. Let's go ahead and give it something else. That's a little better. So again, with the chapter selected here in the chapter room and with the playhead in position, I'm just going to click on that swap in button, this little landscape button. And now that is the thumbnail that will appear on my movie menu for each of these chapters. Okay, so now we've added our chapters. Let's go over to produce and see how they interact with the movie menu itself. So we'll click on the produce button here at the top of the program. That'll jump us over to the produce workspace. And then up here at the top left, select create disc. Now I've already selected a movie menu template just for demonstration purposes. And this is my main menu. I can double click on scenes. This will open up the scene menu and here in the scene menu is each one of those little thumbnails along with the name we gave to our chapter markers. And that's basically it for adding scene markers to your movie. The program is going to automatically generate a DVD menu that includes a main menu and then a scene menu with links to each one of those scenes. Now you want to know more about creating DVDs and Blu-ray discs here in CyberLink PowerDirector. You check out all our tips and tutorials. You want to know everything about it? Check out the moviepicks.com guide for CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate available at amazon.com. I'm Steve. I wrote the book and I hope to see you again.